Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Robot Wars Alpha Guide In. I'm your buddy, Sulfur. I'm his acquaintance, Soul. How are you all? They're not doing great. Hey, what's this guy doing here? What's this guy doing here? I don't know, he's got weird hair. He's got purple hair, it looks like. Is this supposed to be purple? I don't, get closer to the mic. I thought it was gray. <laughs> he's old. Okay, go, Mr. Songer. Dude, you did it, man. I'm not kidding. You're doing it. No, I can't do it. I don't want to do him anymore. I don't either. You're going to have to. Why? Because you do him well. I don't do it. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> you play his voice well. Thank there we go. You. That sounds better. <laughs> there you go. You play his voice well, so do it. I don't want to. Rock, do paper, it. scissors? No. Why not? Do it, man. You got the lower tone for him. No, I don't. Yes, you do. My voice not low. Yes, it is. Get low, just low, low, low. Do it. He's those apple bottom jeans. <laughs> he obviously likes a girl with apple bottom jeans. I mean, we seen Kuku do. I know. I've seen her dance. Anyways, I am Songer Zomfold, the Sword of Magus. Th that's the ancestor's Thurglemere machine. That I'm sorry, <laughs> Dude, I'm if you could see me <laughs> point at you with my that thumb. <laughs> that damn drill guy again. So the ancestors have finally raised their hands against us. Target, irregulars confirmed. Commencing attack. Like, come and see attack. Okay, we'll wait for you to get over here. <laughs> get in the pack. That's how you do. Yeah, he'll come to us, so there's no point in really rushing us. Mm -hmm. What the hell did you do, man? Sneeze. Man, like, <sighs> and he's trying to throw up. Like a little throw up bomb. <gasps> yeah, so he'll like he stroll on it. Yeah, he does actually. I wonder, like six or seven. He strolls up here a little bit. He'd be strolling. He thinks he'd be balling. He'd be balling. That's what the the hip kids say, right? Yes, they do. Flying. Frying and buying. I'm frying and buying, so how are you, good sir? I'm doing okay, you? Yeah. Not that bad, my throat kind of hurts after doing that voice. It's been a while since I've done that kind of deep voice. You had to go, you know, balls deep in that voice You had to go balls deep in that voice, some might say. Yep, you have to. Yeah, he'll die. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. <laughs> he, he will die. He will die. Mm-hmm. That's not to say that he won't possibly do damage, maybe. Maybe. I mean, there's always a chance. No, well, well he'll do damage. He has, someone has alert, so. We're hey, doing what? it. <clears throat> is he going to say anything? Okay, he doesn't. I, I mean, I'm not that he's going to say anything to Jiron, but if he's going to say anything before he commences his first attack, that's mm -hmm. why I was wondering. Volts will be covering, like you said. So, oh, Jiron will be fine. I'm okay with him attacking now. I'm saying, are you really considering the attack without thinking that uh, he may die? What? Yeah, I did. You know. I live on the edge of my seat. That depends, honestly. Some uh, have nice edges. Nice. <laughs> well, you dodged it. Now, let's see if you can ask. Yeah, well, like, one big thing I'm going to do here is uh, drain all of Songra's energy. <laughs> because it's 60 to use at his one main attack. And it does a hell of a lot of damage. Oh, it, of course it does. Um, Again, even his HP is so He does have damage. HP regain and energy regain large. Mm -hmm. So if you don't do a lot of damage to him in one turn, he'll recover most of what he did. Not all. Mm -hmm. Since he did this on his attack, he won't be recovering. Yep. Fool. You are all but fools. I love when our units have that, like, energy regain and all that crap. Yeah, I mean, like, well, I wish one of our units could actually yeah. get, you know, like, a large one. That'd be nice. Yeah, and will that make it broken, dude? No, that, that would make it awesome. <laughs> it might be awesome to you. Yeah. But it'd be broken in everyone else's eyes. I mean, I'm a realist, <laughs> you know? No, you're a real. Realistically thinking you're kind of real. person. You're just a real. That's all you are. I'm just a real machine. Exactly. You didn't use Valor, did you? I... I did. Um, I didn't see you, Valor. I did. I did. Okay, I'm gonna say. You, I'm like second guessing myself now. I'm like, I, I, I did, right? <laughs> no. I'm just a love machine. Da, da. Something, something, something. Oh, nobody but you, hey, baby. Is that how it goes? Yeah. I don't know a lot of the lyrics. Ain't gonna work for nobody but you. Well, oh, that's good. Come on, come on. That's what Shingetta says the most. Exactly. He needs at least three guys in him. 
But it's a good thing at the end of the day. Hey, at the end of the day, it gets the job done, doesn't it? Yep. Look at his power. And he bends his wings. I don't yeah. find that weird. What? His wings like, like they're stuck down when he shoots it. It's the velocity, man, of that stoner sunshine. I'm curious when they stoned him, they made this move. That's an odd name for him. It really is. Maybe yeah. because it's yeah. green and yeah. not yeah. green. Yeah. That's why they're like, hey, this kind of goes together. This is the stoner's sunshine. I keep on making that I am the sword of Magnus. Magus? Magnus. There's no net. But, uh, but because, didn't remember, he's been controlled, mind you. So his one goal, set goal is to protect the cradle. And that's why he's doing. <laughs> so that means essentially he fought off the moon race. He's just keeping them at bay. He didn't really fight them. They don't really go towards them, actually, so... <laughs> no one wants to really mess with them. Because I'm sure he would, wouldn't mind cleaving them in half. So he's not the sword of the evil, he's just the boy of Max. He's the sword of Max, because he's the protector of Max. You sure did let down your guard. Every hit. Indeed, they do. Mm -hmm. Let's see how much energy you got now. You draining that, man. You draining that. And 60 for that one move. Soul! Yes. Hi. I am. Don't focus to save you. And that. Well, yeah, we've seen Drill Boost Knuckle before, but why not? Let's watch. Well, we're going to watch all of his yeah. attacks just for the. It's going to be a short battle, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. This map is so easy. Plus, he's going to be our soon. Yes. About three, four more stages. Yeah. And we already fulfilled the requirements by just being able to get to that it's stage. Be a fucking bitch fighting him. Yeah. And it's fine old time we fight him. Whoa. We're not going into it, but. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. I've seen it, and it's pretty tough. Man, look at that, even with soul, dude. Whew. Real swing hits so hard. I mean, he doesn't have as much uh, spirit as us. Will. Spirit. Will. I can do it. You cannot stop this burglar, Mir. You don't get to use that in any other game, do you? Not if I don't. I don't think so. Maybe one of the OG games for the PS2, possibly. I'm not sure. Someone might be able to correct me. Or not might. They will be able to correct me. <laughs> what am I talking about? This is the interweb. They will. They become controlling you. What do we don't even know what you do with third world? Well, I know third world would probably be happy. Oh yeah, he, he, this is probably great for him. Mm -hmm. So this is for you, Thurgomir. Yep, this is all you, man. Sorry we're beating him up, but you know, soon enough he'll be on our team. We'll get all that raw power. That's the nice thing about it. He comes with all the power. He... So, you want that unit, Ryan? He'll have that. If I'm correct, he'll have that still when he comes on our team. I hope. So, there's your unit that you said you wanted to have that kind of stuff. The brokenness. Yeah. Alert. Do a little fire blaster. Why not? Zankanto. Versus? Breast. Fire blaster? Yes. Breast fire blaster. Versus? Giant breast. <laughs> Cool really point breast. Yeah. Ah. You know, Thurgoman doesn't make himself shake under his own power. Maybe because Sangha controls him correctly. Unlike Koji, who can't control the full power of Master Kaiser, which is true. Koji does have a hard time controlling Master Kaiser. Sangha does. He's so um, powerful. What? That's why he said. Uh, this thing's not that powerful. Or Sangha's such a great pilot that he's like, I got this down. Well, he had like over a thousand years to get this done, or a million. Not that old, dude. No, I'm talking about the time that went. He's alive for a hell of a long time. Yeah, this because they put him in crying. They froze him pretty much. I know. Don't tell me that while in cryostasis he didn't have something in there to occupy his mind. No. He's just sleeping with Magus. There you go. You see? <laughs> Obviously, she would use his that. body as he was asleep. I see. That's why you see. Like, oh, She's like, I'm just gonna, just gonna hug you. Right now. <laughs> because that training, he became an awesome pilot. Yeah, you know, hugging yeah, that's, women. Hugging women. <laughs> Naked. Like you just slowly just throw the veil away. You might die if you get attacked there, actually. Well, first I'm going to go ahead. Norse ray him. Norse ray him? Yep. Sounds dirty. Yes, it does. I'm just going to Norse ray him right now. Yeah. Go ahead and do do do. Do do do. do do There we go. He can tank. I know he can. Mm -hmm. Can he get? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just start my engine, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oop, yeah, Any die. final attack with range of one? 
You know what I mean? I don't want to do that. I don't want him to take a direct hit with a Zonkok to Zonkok to Zonkok to. Yeah. Uh, Aww, why are you doing that thing? He's a jerk. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. 130 wheel, good. <laughs> oh, you hear I know, I hear the, the control because I'm saying that's cheap. Go! Oh, this will do amazing damage. <laughs> it will. And I lowered his will. Two. Yeah, I did that to a boss once in uh, OG. I got the huge will down. You're going to specifically state which OG. Two OG! Two! Why is it two two? It's Dai 2G Super Robot. Tyson. Original German. That's Robot all. Robot original Jason. No Tyson. No, no war. I mean, it, yeah, no war Tyson. There you go. It's not war. No. It's not war. Uh oh. Machine cells. They're not, risk. They're not restoring him fast enough. Or bombarding him. Like, we haven't got done with half our, even half of our team. We're still kicking his ass. Yeah, this one's painfully short, but in a good way. After last uh, chapter, how many s episodes that was, man? How many months that was? That was, yeah, yeah we were ridiculous. That was a real fight. <laughs> yeah, that was. And now... Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for all patterns, right? Wow! Chubby. Not you. Oh, well, chubby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You got a round head. I'm gonna pop like <laughs> You got a melon head, you mean. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure every other attack is I'm afraid it's sort of maggot. I'm like the sword again, you're happy. The Thurgomar stopped moving! Over 50% damage taken. I think that's 90% we left them at. Further battle would be unadvisable. Change in orders. Destroy targets by self-destructing machine. It's hey, your hero. Like, He's going to self-destruct. It's like I know it. What? What? <laughs> Everybody knows all about that. He does self-destruct a lot, apparently. Change in orders rejected. Defending. Gets top priority. Change in orders rejected. Rejected. Change in orders. C cannot self destruct here. I am the sword of Magus orders judge to go against top priority. Is that pilot in pain? G g g this bear. He took off. Don't follow. There could be more ancestors. Machines in there. Ancestor. Ancestor. Uh, plural. Ancestors. <laughs> Did he refuse direct orders from Magus? Skill point gotten. Question? <laughs> we into that stage of a question. Yep. Common did give us a vital hint. Yeah, he said the Earth Cradle had been transformed by the Magus system and machine cells going out of control. That's likely what changed the future Earth Cradle from the artificial hibernation facility meant to preserve seeds. To maintain headquarters, the ancestors headed the, up by to Magus. the main headquarters. Shut up. Maintain the headquarters. Yeah, the maintain. On the moon cradle, D O M E dome, <laughs> control a defense system which is cheap hits. In which case, the ancestors' mobile weapons were probably intended to defend the Earth cradle originally. Then, what exactly is the Magus system? It's most likely something similar to D O M E dome. D O M E dome. D O M E dome. <laughs> So, -E so does that mean -E 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 the Don't. woman called Magus is the Earth Cradle supervisor, or she could be its core functionality itself. But that woman looked human enough. She's kind of pale. Yeah. <clears throat> there are pre, predecessors, precedents, mm -hmm. precedents. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I get that mixed up. Yo, welcome. There are precedents for people who look like humans on the outside. But their insides are closer to those of the supercomputer, like Koros with the Meganoids. It's possible that Magus was once Dr. Anzai's friend, Sophia Nat. Nate. Nate. Then Explosion, who was a key member of Project Ark. But she's been changed into the Ancestor Central System, which plans to wipe out all of mankind. 
it could be that none of them are human anymore. Now that you mention her follower, that Igret boy, did get off a strongly mechanical impression. Well, it was strongly fucked up. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, one of them was. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, and there are more of him with the same face. What the heck's our deal? They don't seem to be cyborgs or cloned humans, but... I suppose the key to solving the mystery of their transfiguration is the machine cells. Machine cells. They appear to resemble the nanomachine spread by the moonlight butterfly, mm -hmm. but... I think it's highly likely that the, in the great disaster of old, the ancestors used machine cells to destroy the underground forces. The moonlight butterfly had enough power to reduce the Earth's civilization to sand. It would be a safe assumption to make that the ancestors' machine cells have a similar level of power. Banjo, if, see if you can get up to speed on the analysis of the data related to the ancestors. Got it. <laughs> sure. Bang. Poncho. You see? You just poncho now. <laughs> <laughs> After that, add this. What's up, Poncho? J Jiron! Ah, Poncho! He's gathering all the Iron Gears blue stones! Hey! You're not trying to pocket all the blue stones and run, are you? Kick his ass. How disrespectful. I'll have you know. You'll have us know what? Er. Uh, since the major battle was coming up, I thought I'd pick up some provisions and supplies at the bazaar. You're telling the truth. Uh, well. He does have a point, though. Up ahead is mostly empty wasteland. There aren't any bazaars. So the bazaar here is the last one we'll get to use. Yes, that's it, exactly. So per I, I perceptive, can't. perceptive. Yeah. I haven't seen that word in so long. Perceptive, <laughs> Miss Leash. Fine. Sorry for doubting you. All right, Poncho. I'll let you take care of shopping. So use your haggling skills to bring back some good stuff. We're counting on you, Poncho. I really got punched in his cheek. I know, right there, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I've driven like a slave up to the very end. So it's kind of giving his hand that this is the last bazaar we're going to get. Yep. So, abuse it now. So we're going to dance, dance, dance. Load, load. Don't want to do that. Oh, no, I'm going to say, <laughs> I'll fuck you if you do that. Have you, man, have you. Well, guys, I like, thank you for watching. This is a short episode, but it was a good one. Okay. Especially for Thurgomer. Yep. Okay, this guys. For you, buddy. Okay, it's for you. Thank you, guys. See Bye. you later. Bye.